Hello, hello, hello. And today I have a new tutorial for you. And this will basically where I will be showing you how um, you can give your models a hand drawn look. So basically create an pencil outline around the edges of your material, or oh, not material, of your object. Uh, to do that, that is uh, pretty simple, but it has its limitations. But I will talk about that when we finish the material. Okay, let's get started. So let's go over to shading. I've just set up like a simple shadow catcher thing and a cube. Um, we're not going to be in my typical material preview scene because I need the flexibility of actually being able to model with the objects. So I don't want to destroy my existing objects. Okay, let's bring in a bevel node. We will need four of those. So duplicate times two, select duplicate times four. Then the top one. 0, uh, 2, 0, 4, and 0 0.3. Select both, control 0, change from mix to difference, bring it up to 1. Then we can bring it up to here with the bottom to this again to 2, this to 0, this to 6, and this to 0 0.4. Control 0, difference again. One and these should look like this now, and we will now do control zero, bring in another mix node, pop this into here, and this right here goes into the factor, and this stays in A, and we will drag and drop a color ramp basically into here, and flip that and bring that up to roundabout like here. That this should look kind of like this. That looks pretty good. We do, yeah, that feels very good. We can preview this. This looks fine. Okay. Now, we will bring in a mask graph texture. So let's go a mask graph texture. Put this into here. Control T, delete the mapping. Object into vector. You can keep most of these settings like they are, but you can play with them if you really want to. You don't overly need to though, and just drag this into B. And now take the color ramp and drop that into here, and reflip it, and just do it slightly like that. That feels pretty good to me. And let's preview our main material, just bring it into the base color. And now you can already see we have like this nice outline around our object that has like a few distortions in it and overall looks very very like kind of looks hand drawn but of course we are not done we need another mix so we just drag and drop it into here uh, change this to darken and put it in a factor of 6.5 and now we are going to work on basically the actual like um, paper texture. That's what I'm missing. So we are gonna, just because we can do this, we're gonna bring in an ambient occlusion. Ambient occlusion are always nice. Uh, drag and drop a color ramp into this as well again. We can just take this one up here and color into factor. And we need another mix, another uh, darken, so we're just going to take this up here, color into factor B, and have a factor of like, yeah, 0 0.5 to be fine. You can play with this. Take here whatever you think works nicely. This is basically just going to add um, like dark where dust would be on, on on our object, which can be interesting. Um, you don't overly need this, though, if you don't want it. But it's nice to have. Oh, there's a second one down here already. I don't know where that came from. OK, so I'll bring this up to here. And now we're going to be working on the actual paper texture. So we'll need two noise textures. One, two. And we need a Voronoi texture. Because in the middle, 
that goes here. Can I make this a bit bigger? And we can bring those uh, to around here. We can all of, kind of bring this all up. Bring this up. And then we need a mapping node, so just press Ctrl T on the middle one. Uh, texture corner, delete the middle, the mid delete the mapping, object into a vector, object into vector, and object into vector. The top, the most top noise texture, detail to 5, roughness to 0 0.9, distortion stays at 0, and then we need a color ramp, so we just uh, take this, factor into factor, equal this out, and just make this kind of like this color, like a soft yellowish, but very soft, so, so something like this. Um, the Voronoi texture needs a scale of 3, and that's it. So we're just gonna duplicate the color ramp again, distance and factor. We are gonna make this a tiny bit darker, and this a tiny bit darker here. In that case, we kind of have something like this, and just bring this up to like here. That feels about right. Yeah, this feels pretty good. And then for the third noise texture, we want a scale of ten, detail of five again, roughness of one, and that's it. And we don't need a noise texture for the bottom one. Uh, a color for the bottom one. So we're just gonna select those two, control zero, change this to multiply. Pretty let's preview it. This looks pretty cool. We can maybe go like to zero point three, maybe even a bit more. We want more. No zero point three I think feels fine. And then we are just gonna bring this into this darken that we had right here. So, chip. Let's preview this. Looks fine. So now we are just gonna plug this into this. Let's preview this. And like you can see, we have, if we play with this, right, you can get a more darker texture, but I like how this looks. And now we're just gonna need a bump for the most bottom one. So let's bring in a bump, normal to normal, and then just the most bottom one into the height, and just the strings down to like, what, 0 0.1. Yeah, this this feels about right. Okay, now you have your material set, um, set up finished. And what this material basically does is, whatever you model, it will basically follow with the outlines. The downside of that is um, the smaller you go, the radius more or less stays the same. So when you have like a smaller thing that you, where, you, where you do want a bevel, but the existing line is too thick, you might have to duplicate the material and change the bevel thickness. So for example, if I now change this bevel thickness to like another 0 0.8, you can see how the line gets immediately thicker. Right, you can see that. Or if I change this, for example, to be smaller, the line gets tighter. If you put a 0 0.1 here, you can see how the line gets very, very tight now. Or like even a 0 0.05. Like you have a very tight line now. On the contrast, if you go like 0 0.5 here, a very loose line. So in essence, this is kind of like your your, t your your control object, your how how thick you want your line to be, and this is, um, or the how loose you want the edges of the line to be, and this is kind of your control object on how you thick you want the actual line to be. So yeah, you can, I hope you can do something with this. I have found it to be a very cool material, and I hope I see you next time, guys. Bye bye.